What's up guys, Mark from DSGN here. So if you're here to learn about eBay, Amazon, or Shopify dropshipping, subscribe to my fucking channel. Giving you all the information you need to dropship on these platforms 100% free. So before we get into this video, two things. One, you need to stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how you can make an extra five or $500,000 or a month with one simple change in your settings. And two, look out for the dropshipping house. So we have in a dropshipping house in about two months. It's gonna start the 12th of March. Well, it's gonna start the 26th of September, but we do two weeks on the beach and then, so what the dropshipping house is, 10 people are gonna live in the same house for three months. We're gonna document the process, 10 dropshippers. Some have experience, some don't. Some dropship on eBay, some dropship on Amazon, and we're all gonna dropship on Shopify. We're gonna document the process. We're gonna document everyone. You're gonna meet everyone. Everyone is gonna produce videos on the channel. So I think it'll be epic. You'll learn a lot, it'll be entertaining, and I may not have to do videos every day, although I may. So subscribe to the channel and click the little fucking bell so you get notified. You don't want to miss that shit because that's going to be motherfucking epic. Ten dudes and girls from all all age ranges. There's a dude from the fucking who has a gold medal in the Olympics who's going to be here. So that's going to be epic. Anyway, so let's get into today's video. So let me go back to the Seller Central. This is a brand new account. I'm going to build this account from scratch to show you guys using doing retail arbitrage and, and doing Amazon drop shipping. Once you drop ship on Amazon, you're gonna to have to be very familiar with the Amazon Seller Central, but I'm not gonna go into that today. I'm simply gonna show, show you the correct way for you to set up your return settings and your shipping settings and stay till the end of the video so you can make an extra $500,000 just from one little setting. So you go into settings here, you just hover, hover over it and hit return settings. And if you, if you have a brand new account, there's a couple things that are not gonna be there, right? So it's gonna be set like this, and there's not gonna be anything in the, in the return instructions. So what you wanna do is first, I want, to, I want to authorize each request. That is very important. You wanna make sure this is, this is clicked. Then on the section op second option, your return mail and label, you want to click, I'll provide a prepaid label. You can choose any carrier. We use multiple carriers. If you're drop shipping from Walmart, you would know that you use multiple carriers. So just choose one and when the time comes, you'll provide the shipping label. And then this setting, return merchant, I want Amazon to generate our, our MA number. That's That could stay like that. Now in this section here, you basically wanna fill out what your return policy is or message that is sent to them. So I just I just have returns are accepted within 30 days, a prepaid shipping label will be sent so you can return the item free of charge, and then just small instructions, right? Once you receive the shipping label, pl please, please apply it to the shipping package and cover your label and drop it off. Like, and just to out let your customer be aware that you're providing a free label. And hit save. But if you guys have a brand new account, there's one thing you're gonna to have to add. You're gonna to have to add a return address. If you don't have a return address, this is gonna be expected to be added. They're not gonna let you save the um, general settings without setting that address. Don't freak out because you set the settings for you to provide a shipping label. Um, and you have to authorize ev everyone. The items aren't gonna sh ship back to you. But for Amazon, you have to set up the ship the um, return address. So that's how you set up the return return policies. Now the fun part. Now the part, well not the fun part, but a way for you to make a little more money and the correct way to set up your shipping settings. So you just hover, hover over settings and hit ship shipping settings. This is a brand new account. Okay. So the first I, the first shipping policy is going to be named this migrate template because it's a, this, that's just what they call it, migrated template, when it first is first set up. So when you hit edit template, you're gonna to wanna to set up multiple templates. I have multiple templates for items if I'm drop shipping from Walmart or if I'm drop shipping from Kmart, or if I'm drop shipping from Academy, because I know that like Walmart has a certain amount of shipping time, Academy has a certain amount of shipping time, Kmart has, Kmart has a certain amount of shipping time. Um, so you wanna take that into account. So I might do Wally template, Wally small template. 
I put that because when you're drop shipping, and this is you have to be aware of these things when you're listing the items. When you're drop shipping bulk items from Walmart, also shipping times with really a difference, you want to create a different shipping policy. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just calling it Wally Small Template. One, because I don't want to be writing fucking Walmart in on the Amazon platform. And I, I have to remind myself and the VAs that when they're listing that this template is for small items from Walmart. Okay? So you want to, you're going to choose between per item or price banded. You want to choose per item. It's not going to be based on weight. It's going to be a fixed price based on the item. Right? I personally don't do free economy. So remember, this is a brand new thing. This is a brand new account, right? So I just don't personally set up free economy. Um, you want to set up standard shipping. The reason I don't set up free economy because I'm going to offer standard ship, free standard shipping here. Okay. So you want to make sure that right street is clicked. I still ship to PO boxes. Some people don't. I personally do. You also want to make sure I don't ship to Alaska or Hawaii. So you want to take that shit off. Recently, Walmart shipped some items to Hawaii for someone in my inner circle. So that was interesting for free. I don't want to be, I don't want to assume that they do that for all. So I just don't want any trouble, right? A lot of you will be marked, but you're missing out on money. You don't like, there's enough people in the main, um, in the main 48 states to make a, a lot of fucking money with less problems. So you want to make sure and just save those 48 states. So I do ship to PO boxes. So three to five. Expedited shipping. Usually they automatically put expedited shipping as one to two days. This is a brand new account and they want they suggest $8.99. I personally charge $9.99. This is what I'm talking about where you'll get the um you'll make extra five hundred thousand bucks and two to four days, right? That nine 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 thing I, I learned from Matt Gambro. Um he makes like Matt sells a lot. I've had Matt on my channel before. Um, I know some of you guys are, yeah, but you're not doing, um, you're not doing, what do you call it? The course with Matt, fine. But Matt sells a fuckload, right? So I'm not, uh, that's one thing I learned from him. So you want to, I charge $9.99. I, even, Amazon limits how much you could charge. You don't want to charge 50 bucks, but generally I charge, you can charge less also, but you'll make an extra 500 bucks or a thousand bucks a month once things start going and you don't do anything, right? Where if people choose this option, you just want to make sure and order the item on time, but you don't actually do anything. And this does not include the, the handling time. I generally set my handling time at three days and that's done when you list an item in the advanced section, but I'll do that in a further video. You, if when drop shipping for doing retail arbitrage, you don't want to do two day, two day delivery, not at all, because that does not include the handling time. I fucked up in the past offering two day shipping and the items were delivered late and I had to do a ton of fucking bullshit to, 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 um, to, to fix my metrics. Okay, and that's it. And you hit save. So guys, thanks for your time. Hopefully this video is valuable. This is step two. Yesterday I covered um, setting up your Amazon account. If you missed that, go check that shit out. Today I covered setting your shipping, shipping settings and your return settings. Um, I might do, so that's step two. I might do a couple of videos defining certain things like the um, sales rank and some other things you should be aware of on the Amazon platform. But yeah, have a good one, guys. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, if you want me to cover anything, put that shit in the um, comment section. Um, have a good one, guys. Peace.